if you could see the the reaction on his son's face and Parker's face when he sees the two of us, he's six months old. He's so confused when he, when when I go here the next time. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he it's, it's not. Know what's yeah. Well, every day, Linda and I get him in front of the mirror, and we show him us in the mirror. Okay. Because and I, you can still see like that confuses him. He's like, why is it, why are there right, two right. of me and stuff? But then he sees him, he thinks it's the same thing. So it's quite funny. Messing yeah. with babies. Oh, just <laughs> and that's gonna be a minute. He's gonna it's gonna take a minute before he's like, okay. No, no, no. Yeah. My son is advanced. He's oh, very brilliant. That's right. I'm sorry. The yeah. smartest ever. Yeah. He's already starting yeah. calculus. The weird thing is, his first words were, "Celebrity I owe you." Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's a big fan yeah, wouldn't, of the show. wouldn't it be weird if his first words were Jonathan and not yeah. even me, da, da, dad or Drew? <laughs> okay, let's talk about what you're sitting on right now. Yes. Ah, comforts. Okay, yeah. I mean, this is a big deal. I need to know inside baseball what it's like to actually design your own line. Uh, a lot of work. You know, we so when we started our Scott Living collection originally, and Drew and Jonathan is sort of how it grew and morphed. Um, we, we did it because we wanted to make sure we were actually helping people at home. So many times we'd go shopping for furniture and you know that it's a piece that the first time a kid jumps on it, it's going to break, the leg's going to fall. We're like, no, we want to build stuff that is good quality, that's going to actually make life easier, maybe multifunction, have tech incorporated. Well, it's also an affordability thing. I think, you know, there are some amazing designers out there, but when you're just designing pieces that are so unaffordable for the average family, we're not interested in that. For us, it's all about helping every family enjoy where they live, feel inspired where they live. So whether you're watching our shows or whether you're walking through the mart and you see our pop up here, like this is meant to give you inspiration for your home and then give you something you can actually take with you. So as far as like when you're doing the back and forth, how involved are you guys in the process? Oh, Every very, I mean, yeah. the important thing for us, so there are two sides to it, right? There are, there's us and our team. We have an amazing team that we've grown over the years. And then we have the other side of it, which are our partners, like what we have here with NFM. And they have an amazing team and they have amazing designers. So the collaboration that comes together with our partners is what really makes Drew and Jonathan home what it is. And we couldn't do it without them. If we didn't have yeah. these brilliant, we always say, we always surround ourselves with people much smarter and better looking than us. Yeah. And then, uh, you know. Well, I think part of it as well is we'll find inspiration everywhere. If we're traveling, if we're at a hotel or a restaurant, we'll see something and we're like, this could be adapted for residential use in a great way. And so we'll send sketches of, you know, an ottoman or we'll, you know, we actually reverse engineered our mattresses to try and solve the problems people had about lack of support and making sure the individual got coils or even the support on the sides. Everything we could do to try and make sure we're solving the issues happened. We get about half a million messages a week each on social media. And it's people saying, we saw the show, I love this, here's my problem at home, can you help? We take all that data, we take all that information, and we actually put it into developing better products. I feel that the other thing too for us, we've always been this way, even from well before our shows, is that we always design around function first, not just aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people have focused just on how pretty something yeah. is. You'll never enjoy a space if you just have pretty. You need to actually be able to function the way your family functions. And, and you don't even need your own family photos anymore because we just give you our <laughs> own photos yeah. in the frames. Is that weird? It's it's not weird at all. I, I like it. very airbrushed. Especially if you don't have a lot of friends. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The exactly. perfect <laughs> gift for your loner friends. <laughs> um, okay, so with that in mind, let's talk about like 2023. What, what can people expect when they come in here? But what should we all be looking for as far as trends are concerned in design? So we are seeing so many people asking for more flexibility at home. They want multi-purpose spaces, whether it's going to be a home office for your Zooms or whether it's going to be a yoga studio, whatever it is. So we, we are Wait, really... 2023, you're going to start teaching yoga? I'm teaching yoga in 2023. You heard it here first. Downward yeah. kitchen? <laughs> I'm not sure what it would be. How can you add uh, anything else to your plate? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, I think what's amazing is so the, the pop-up shop that we have here in NFM literally has everything from our rugs to our living room collections, bedroom mattress, you name it. Somebody can come in here no matter what room in the home needs help and you can use visual inspiration. It's almost like being in a reveal of Property Brothers. Well, like I was saying before too, like when you come to the Mart, people come here because if they need anything, literally anything for their home, it's here. So they already know this is the largest destination there is out there. And for us to be able to have this pop-up that shows you our full collections, where you can literally walk in and just, I'll take one of everything and, and step out. Yeah. But also the price points are something that families can appreciate. That's really important to us. And again, too, even products like our, our wrist mattresses. 
I mean, we give you a variety of different fields, whether you want something plush or a medium firm or firm, we're giving you the different options, but we also make it very easy. The way we break it down to show you why this is a, a great mattress for you, how the ergonomics of it, how it supports you, the Alumilast technology that gives you that cooling surface. We're trying to make life easy. It looks Tell like you need a more. mattress. I'm just, what was that word again? Alumilast. 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 I've never yeah. heard of that before. It's, yeah, yeah, it's basically how we, when we create, we have our cover and then we have the gel memory foam underneath and Alumilast is the technology we have. It's infused with uh, this aluminum, which helps cool the surface because nothing's worse. If you get a lot of foam mattresses or beds that are made from foam, they're very hot. You guys look you like you sleep, hot hot. Seat. you sleep hot? No, no I, I mean, great. I'm, I'm hot when <laughs> I sleep, but uh, <laughs> the, yeah. I'm telling you, not all mattresses are created equal. No. People True. have to realize that. And some companies spend hundreds of millions of dollars advertising every time you open your social media and whatnot. And the reason we, we had a different approach. We put the investment into the product yeah. to what make concept. sure it was actually going to be a better product yeah, exactly. and a better price point. And worst case scenario, if you just want to come to NFM and watch the shows, that's why we've got the show clips. Yeah, running you know, in, it's in constant. The, yeah. <laughs> grab, grab a nap. If it wasn't more obnoxious, having your face on everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's talk about brand because again, your brand is everywhere. Um, as far as I, mean, I was looking way back, I didn't realize you guys have have recorded songs before. You've done acting. I mean, there's just so many things that you've done. <laughs> How do you continue to maintain your brand successfully when you have so many different things that are going yeah. in, into it? I think, you know, the one thing for us is we only do what we love. And I think, you know, if you feel that you're stuck doing something you don't love, you're never going to feel fulfilled in life. And so luckily we've had each other to support each other along the way. And, and anything that he's been passionate about or I've been passionate about, we encourage each other to do it. And we're real people too. Like people don't just do one thing in life. People have different interests. And yep. so acting is a big interest of mine and magic was an interest of Jonathan's. I'm and so, magician. Yeah, I think that that's what's exciting for well, us to be able to do those different it's, things. Your audience and the consumer can sniff out something that is not authentic. Mm -hmm. And so you have to be authentic to your brand, but you also have to find focus. You know, it's okay to try different things and to do things, but making sure that you're rooted in something that is focused is key. And so for us, the pillars were quality, um, you know, family is important to us um, and making sure that we always stand by what we say we're going to do or, you know, whether and that's in our programs and the shows that we do. That's also in our products. It's always the same thing. We stand by and make sure that we follow through on everything. We, we also call it like in our company and just in general, we have our uh, no BS policy. And so that's just how we were raised. And that's how we are is if there's something that's bugging us or if something we're not agreeing on something, we just get it out and deal with it and move on. Because at the end of the day, we both know that we have our ideas, even if they're different. We're, we have the same common goals, and mm -hmm. we have the same, um, you know, good heart, good heart behind it. And so we just get it out, and that way, it's been nothing's been rooted deep in negativity. We were able just to continue to move forward and grow stronger what is relationships. It, what does BS? What does that stand for again? Uh, it stands. I'm gonna have to bleep for, this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll come up with something really witty later. Hey, let me He's ask. He's baby brain right now. Me, yeah. I was gonna ask you. Okay, so you've got. I would consider you a new dad until at least until he's a year, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. What has that been like to watch your brother as a new dad? Oh my gosh, you see this whole different side. Of Drew coming, well, one this side. He's, he's more tired all the time, <laughs> yeah. but it's been Just the most beautiful it, right? thing. I knew that Drew and Linda would be incredible parents, and I am going to spoil that kid <laughs> as he does. gets older. Give him candy, get him, send him home. Uh, but no, it's been incredible to see this side of Drew come out. I think it is a warmer, lovelier side. You know, maybe not so focused on business for once because there's something else. Well, that's... it is. It is nice for me to have, you know, like Linda and I just love our family time and so now to have the, to be able to share this with this little version of us is pretty amazing every day I, I, I look at Parker and I'm just like I can't believe you know the magic of birth the, the magic of genetics and when we each I actually took some photos the other day I took a baby photo of me and a baby photo of Linda and I put a, a baby photo of Parker next to each of us and it's surprising how each photo looks so much like us as babies Hey, Speaking of similar, I mean, you were telling me the story. He is still sort of like, wait, what's going on here? Oh, Parker's perplexed when he sees our two faces together. He's like, yeah, I, I can. I'm like the baby whisperer. I can understand that Parker's saying, oh, somehow daddy shaved and got better looking all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, that's what, what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny. So when he was a baby, uh, he had more curls. Parker has crazy good curls right now. And I'm he like, does. He does, but they're gonna go away as soon as they start cutting his hair. They said it'll start to get stiffer and long. I'm like, no, it's so cute. But I'm like, Jonathan was the one with the curls back in the day. So My he's Superman trying to take a look. He's always been the brother with the better hair. You could do a perm, maybe? No? Yeah, you know. Is that inappropriate? Did you perm? <laughs> Whatever, you know, I'm down for it. I've never told anybody this, but I used to have a curling, I had a crimper and a curling iron. And at one point in my teens, and probably just out what? of my teens, 
I used to curl my hair because I'm like, I want to be able I to am curl. learning this oh, yeah. live you on didn't camera. Know that? Yeah, it was awful. Wow. I could see that right. because I saw the post you did recently with your mom, and you guys had a lot of hair. Oh, we yeah. had a lot of hair. <laughs> you had a lot to oh, work yeah. with. I remember Let's one see. day, so I was, the, my boss had yeah. said to me, I, I walked out and I, I basically had my hair up, came out and up like a, like a hat rim almost. And it would look terrible, but I thought it looked so cool. And he looks at me, he's like, what is that ridiculous thing you're doing in there? Get out of here and fix that before you come back. You know, I know we're live on your yes, interview, but yes, yes. I will show you a video of the very first season of Property Brothers, okay. what our hair looked like. While you do that, and I'm you... going to pull mine up because I'm going to ask you some quick questions before we get done. Okay. Yeah, do it. Okay. Okay, right. you pulling it out? He, he, I'm pulling it out. He here. can get embarrassing photos of me in no time. Like, I don't know. He has a, a he secret He probably has folder. a file folder. He just I have pulls, a lot. Right? Yeah. yeah. So That's what he's here for. That's what brother He's here for. to keep you humble, yeah. okay? Here we go. I know where these are. And so, if you think, way back in the day, people used to literally stop me on the street and be like, oh my gosh, you have such incredible hair. I'm like, oh, thank you. And Drew, <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened. But uh, we had, my internet connection is a little bit slow here. So <laughs> okay, well, while you do that, keep pulling up. Let me ask you this real quick. You both have been to Texas a handful of times. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like we're going to play a round of Lone Star, my All Lone right. Star lightning round. Okay. So it's kind of oh, like a little I this or that. Sing Lone Star Amaze. No, or you something. don't have okay. to do it, but you can afterwards if you want. Sure. All right. Okay. So ready for this? All right. Let's do it. Cowboy boots or cowboy hat? Boots. Boots. All right. Uh, country classics or country pop? Classics. Country pop. Barbecue or Tex Mex? Oh, Tex Mex. Barbecue. Bull riding or bull roping? Bull Ooh. riding. Yeah, I don't know, bull roping. We used to do the trick roping and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. breakfast tacos or kolaches? I don't oh, know tacos. what a kolache is. What's a kolache? I have stumped everyone with that question. <laughs> yeah. It's bread and it's and it's like some sausage, meat, and cheese, and it's hot. It sounds amazing. Mm. I'll try but, it. Wait, one of you is a vegetarian. You're I'm a vegetarian. Veg okay. Pestering. He passes on the kolaches. <laughs> we'll do a vegan <laughs> breakfast taco. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah pick and a blanket. Okay. Sorry, yeah, there you go. Okay. I'll try try to make it sound so fancy. And, <laughs> Well, you know, we're in Dallas. We're a little bougie here. <laughs> Did it ever come up? I'm, it's so slow, but Are I, you it, kidding it, me? it's here. I, I saw one of them, but I need to get to the good one. Where's hold the on Wi-Fi password? Where uh, is it? Hold on a sec here. I know where it is here. Uh, just give me a sec here. You, you, you can keep go ahead talking. and sing if you want to. Oh, is that? What was this? The song you, you knew? <laughs> How's it go? Lone Star Maze? You said something about Lone Star. Just, <laughs> so, okay. season <gasps> season one, you got these looks here, but hold on a sec here. I don't want to get a shot here. Oh, my gosh. We used to say that Drew looked like... Um, Robert, Pattinson. Robert Pattinson from Twilight. Okay, that's not a but bad thing. That was check wow. out those uh, check out those do do's there. Yeah, whoa. Th that's and some this, terrible and hair. Whoa. That's, so this is I, I'm going to defend myself here. So did My you not hair, guys have anyone on set? How, was that just oh, all no, you? Oh no, that was that was someone purposeful. wanted bigger hair. Our producer. producer at the time said no, 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 because my hair was a little bit longer, and actually our hair was almost very similar. And they're like, you guys need to have different looks, and you need to look like the young. At the time, I was more like the realtor side of what I do is okay, what they yeah. wanted. And so they were like, you need to look more like a young, hot shot realtor. And Bigger uh, hair. Yeah, and I'm like, this looks terrible, my long, skinny face. Oh yeah, they fired that producer. And I remember as well that she kept <laughs> she kept saying, we need bigger hair, like Robert Petitenson. Yeah, And we're like, Petitenson? <laughs> Petitenson? <laughs> she must have not have been a werewolf fan there. No, okay? no Twilight fan there. Yeah. yeah. One more question before they kick me out of here. Um, right now, crazy weird housing market time. What are people asking you? You said you get messages all the time. Yeah. I know you don't like to give probably like, you know, real estate advice, but I mean, what, what are people saying? No, to I, you I mean, the main thing is so many people think I just, my, my house doesn't work. I need a new home kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times what we're trying to do is actually try to get people to look at what the real problem is, because a lot of times your home will work for you. You just have to reimagine it. And that's what we do on Forever Home. We, we reimagine a space. And so that's, that's the biggest thing. You don't always have to move because think of it, there are a lot of expenses, whether it is you know, uh, broker fees or whatever else, taxes. If you can make your house actually work for you without moving, it's gonna help you stretch your dollar. Yeah, and I think one of the big requests for people who are looking to buy a new place is they want space, they want land, they want, you know, instead of, you know, feeling too confined, you know, or having to go to a public park or something like that, a lot of people wanna have their own yard or their own office or their own flex room. So that's, that's the biggest request we see right now is how can I get more out of the space that I already have? We do have a lot of people ask us about smart, smart home technology and also better energy efficiency in the home because you know if you don't have to be paying out as much in your utilities and stuff. And so that's something that's really important that we try and educate people on too. All families deserve to love where they live, have a house that functions for them. And so if you think about the rebates right now too that are actually making tankless hot water systems or solar or insulation or heat pumps more um, cost effective, that's really good.
because it, yeah, it's the same with our furniture too. If you have furniture out there that looks beautiful but nobody can afford it, what's the point of it? True. Now that you have something that you can actually afford that can make your house more energy efficient, that's amazing. 